What's up guys, Chasing Lamy here and, well, it's episode 11 of The Journey. We have been doing really well so far this season and I'm really excited to share what's been happening with you guys. We're just about to play our fifth game of the season and things are looking pretty good. Pretty good. So, we're going to come back after the intro and uh, let me take you through what's been happening. Join me in a second. Right guys, as you can see, we are top of the league. Um, things are going really, really well. This is what you've missed, uh, for those of you who like uh, like catching up. So you saw the Soda Hans game in episode 10, where we uh, we got that 2-0 win to open the season, Venebro getting his, his brace. We then played uh, IFK Luleo. Um, curiously have the same badge as us, I'm not sure why, I'm sure that's a thing. Um, there's probably a reason, but I can't bother to look into it. Anyway, uh, we got a 1-0 win. Mikhail Yannick got himself his first goal of the season. Really good to see him uh, him on the score sheet. Uh, Robin Larson actually was the was the man with the assist on that one, which was good to see too. The two older uh, GMFF boys linking up nicely. We then played uh, IFK Timuro. Um Again, some large to us, don't know why. 2-1 uh, win. Um, bit more hard form and Martin Anderson gave us the uh, lead Robin Bergman equalized for them and then Lamine Allen got himself a late penalty uh, really well deserved as well penalty frankly we're all over them in the game we should have got a bit more out of it but I'll happy, I'm happy to kind of sneak that uh, sneak that win in and then we played Kram for us Anson and got a 3-2 win a bit of a thriller this one opened the scoring Robert Lidstrom eight, on 18 minutes uh, Peter Thelian got, him, got himself a goal uh, to equalise, Mikhail Yannick got on the score sheet, then Thelen equalised, and then Yannick got himself his second in a, in injury time in the second half to win us the match right at the death. Really good game, really exciting game of football. So, that brings us today, we're playing Frisco Vior. Um Should be a decent game, they're sixth in the league, we're obviously currently top. Won the Manager of the Month award as well, which was quite nice. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go straight into it, boys. This is going to be a, a short one, maybe, because we're just going to go straight in. So you see uh, you see the preview. Uh, we're the favourites, because our form is just top draw, quite frankly. Um, things are looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Adam Jakobsen is suspended, but that's fine. We weren't really using him that much anyway. Uh, so this is going to be the lineup for today. It's pretty much what you're used to, a sell out the back. Hagland, Isaacson, and Nicholson at the back, uh, at the back there. Uh, Robin Larson playing as the anchor man. Anderson and Venebro in the middle, both on pretty good form so far this season. Quite enjoying that. Uh, Lemine Allen and Lidstrom are the wingers, and Yannick starts at top. No real sub change on the subs bench. Um, let's tell you about. Uh, we've brought in a th three new players who are on the bench today. William Ogren is kind of our dual use fullback he's been playing on the left when i've brought him on so far but he looks a decent player he is technically the best left back at the club but things are working so i don't really want to change much uh likewise we brought in emilia emil laresio um that's not a bit of spanish laresio i don't know emil we bring up brought in emil he's apparently the best center half at the club now uh again i don't want to change too much so he's just getting a few games from the bench until i have to start looking at changes uh, and then we brought in Andreas Bagger, who, god damn it, he's going to get a nickname, but I haven't decided what it is yet. Um, he's a winger, but he can play fullback. He can he can do everything down the right, pretty much. Bit of versatility, as you can see, and I, I think he's going to become a really useful player. Definitely from the bench for us, if not starting uh, sooner or later. So we're going to get into the game, and hopefully, hopefully we're going to pick up a big win today. Hopefully, uh, <coughs> we, we shall see how it goes. The um, sore throat from the football seems to have turned into a cold, which is good, because in my time it's only a couple of hours since I last recorded episode 10, um, and that's progressing way too fast for me, I don't like it. Anyway, these are the lineups. Uh, no one really of note, I don't think, uh, in their team. It's the 4-4-2 super defensive hell. Duckrell, I'm presuming, is English. He is. 
anyone fame anyone good he played for not really he was a barnet player he was a a livingston player and then he kind of bounced around sweden a little bit so yeah interesting we'll see what happens right into the dressing room it's sort of being recommended by carl petter jonsson he wants us to encourage the players i don't see any reason why not so we'll just go with that feeling really good about today's game um famous last words of course we've got the football stuck in the wall as always yeah, feeling a bit good uh, about this game. Our form is really good. I don't think, you know, I know it's only four games we've played, but I don't really feel like we should be fearing anyone so far. Uh, players are responding really well to instructions, to shouts from the touchline, the tactics. You know, uh, when we're making subs, they seem to be working out for us, so I can't really complain too much. Though nothing's actually happening in this game so far, so that's interesting. 20 minutes in, we're going to maybe give them a, a shout of, uh, of encouragement just to see if it drives them forward a little bit. Did that go through? I think it did. Beautiful save. Isaacson clears it. They've got another corner. I don't want to concede early. Well, I don't want to concede at all, but I certainly want to concede early. I can see that being a problem. So we'll clear this. We have Lidstrom's got rid of it, but it's still still in play. There we go. Got, got away with that a little bit. They seem to be building some pressure. Free kick on the edge of the box, but nothing's really happening from it. Famous last words, here comes a cross, no? Okay, let's defend it, boys. Defend it, ship it out, push them back. Push them back. Way too much space. We're, defend we're defending as a unit, which is nice, but it just leaves so much exposure. So much exposure at the back. Gives them a lot of place, a lot of space to play, and Ducker, oh, so close. We need to do more. We need to do more with this, I think. Seeing far too much of the ball, and I'm not sure I like it. Not sure I like it at all. Well, Venebro has got his foot in there, made a tackle, and no, Yannick's going to attack. Can he do something with it? Let's, let's hope he can. It's drifted out wide again, which always bodes well. Venebro, Venebro has got himself his third of the season, and Yannick, you know, I brought him in to score goals for us. I, I looked at the team when we came in, I thought, oh, I'm going to need a goal scorer here, but. Yannick actually has become a real creative force, which is, you know, if we weren't scoring goals, I'd be really annoyed by it. But the fact that he's creating chances like that, outstanding, beautiful ball over the top, beautiful finish. And that's the kind of thing we've been seeing a lot of from us. So we're going to praise the team. Um, just give them that little bit of a boost as we head towards half time. And hopefully we can start to do something now. Start to build a lead. Hopefully get ourselves a bit safe in this game. Uh, Cold in there. He's done a beautiful piece of defending. Nicholson's got plenty of time on the ball. Now we're going to hoof over the top. Can Allen get there? He can't. But it's okay because Anderson will mop it up and ball over the top. Yannick is not going to get there. But it's positive. It's really positive play we're seeing from the boys here. It's really good. Um... A lot of hoofball in this league. A lot of hoofball. Duck rolls through. Oh, he's finished it. That's okay. It could be a lot worse. What we're going to do is we're going to tell the boys to... We demand more from the boys. We'll, de we'll demand more. That ball over the top is deadly. It's deadly at this level. Especially with a striker who can get a little bit of pace beyond the defenders. Get onto it. It's, it's really hard to defend against. And we've been using it as well. Like... Yannick doesn't, isn't the quickest player in the world, but he's making it work. Venebro with a free kick. Oh, what a goal. What a goal from Venebro. Unbelievable work. Um, he's got himself a brace again as well. Can't just score one goal, Venebro. He's got to get himself a couple. No problem with that. He can keep doing that all day long. All day long. Um, I will happily take a, a brace from anyone in the field. And if Fenero wants to always score in pairs, he's more than welcome. Mansell with the cross. Let's get rid of it. As far as Ericsson... Oh, defending on set pieces is really suspect. And there's not much you can do with it, training-wise, because we're a part-time club. We train twice a week. It's far more important things to focus on, I think, than defending set pieces. So we've just got to hope it improves. Um... Really disappointing though to concede that on the stroke of half time. Let's show some passion. 
don't know if that went through or not. We'll soon find out. Um, okay, we've stressed one player out. That's not ideal. We'll see how it goes. Right, Lidstrom finds Nicholson. Nicholson's been... It's been iffy. Um, I'm kind of relying on the strength of the team around him to carry him because he's a really good, like really high potential player. Benabro with another shot from the free kick doesn't quite make it this time. Frankly, it was on his on his weaker side. Um, he's not really gonna gonna score from that side, I don't think. But should have crossed it really. Forsberg's now attacking us. They're on the break. Yannick's picked it up. Is he gonna drift wide? Gonna try and make something? He's not. He's found Haglund though. Allen. Back inside to Larson. Larson can can produce stuff too. Over the top to Yannick this time. He's gone wide. He's looking for support. Crossed it. Venebro. Oh, I thought Venebro was going to have, have himself a hat trick then. Don't know how Yannick's only got a 6.8. The stuff he's producing is outstanding. Um, let's, let's encourage the players to push forward a little bit. Oh, they're frustrated now. They've fr been frustrated by my advice. It's a weird free kick. Ball out wide. Finds Gutierrez Arvidsson. Can't get rid of it. That's it. Only as far as Davis though. Come on boys. Need to push them back. Push them back. Defending so narrowly. Oh, Toby Davis. Put them ahead. And that's not ideal. I demand more from them. And it should have seen the run of Davis coming, really. There's a lot of guys in that box. He just, everyone, you know, the guy who should have had him here, Anderson, had his back to him. It's not ideal. But it's okay. It's not over yet. Um, we will make some subs very shortly. But let's not do that just yet. Let's see where this goes. We sh hopefully should be able to equalise. I hope. I hope. Anderson through to Yannick. Yannick straight at the keeper. Doesn't hold it. Venebro for some reason run away from that ball. I'm going to pause it because I don't want to be making changes while the game is playing on. Um, put Ogren on for Anderson. He's looked dangerous when he's played. Um, and the other Anderson's going to come off. We're going to send on Ekholm. I think no, send on send on Mackenzie. I think he's looked okay. Let that play for a second. I want to send on a centre half, but I don't know which one to come off. Maybe Isaacson because he's looking nervous. Let's do more subbing. They've got a lot of English players. Um. Take off Lidstrom. Swap those two guys around because they seem to create a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to go a bit of a bit of a small tactical change. Uh, I'm going to take off Isaacson because he looks nervous, and I think my last sub I'm going to use Ekholm for Hagland. Just try and create a bit more from the back because I'm not overly worried about goal scoring in terms of the players on the pitch are very good goal scorers. Just want to create more opportunities and maybe keep them out. Ten minutes left though, it's going to be dodgy. We might be looking at our first loss of the season. It's looking more and more likely, but we have been scoring a lot of late goals. It's not going to happen today though, boys. That's pretty much the game. Good game for the cameras, disappointing game for the team, I think is the best way to put that. Oh, performance was disappointing, there's no real way to sugarcoat that. Not ideal, um, especially after coming off the unbeaten run, but uh, Friska are one of the better teams in this league. I mean, we saw it last season, we really kind of struggled against them, I think. Um, and, you know, you, you can't win them all. As much as it'd be nice to go a season unbeaten, we, you have to kind of, you have to know you can't win it all. Still a couple of unbeaten teams. I think we're playing Borden's next. Uh, off the top of my head. 
we are playing Bowden's next, so hopefully we can end their unbeaten run, and then it's either Hogdals we've got to kind of go after. Bring down a peg. Uh, lots of red cards again. Cranforth got themselves a good win over Timro, um, which is worth keeping an eye on. And either Hogdals have got lucky with Piteo having a having a man sent off. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much the episode, guys. I think. Give Venebro his praise because he was very good in front of goal. Beautiful work. Okay, boys. Um, it's been a short episode for a change. Um, thank you much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button to see more from the journey. And whatever else I put up, there's going to be a savings window coming out at some point. Either it will have just come out because I'll have dropped, I'll have found time to drop them both at once. Or not. And I'm hoping to get a random Steam game out this week. Uh, I'm, for those who are new to the channel, I'm a student. I'm currently in coursework season, which is why there's less videos than there has been. If I can smash out the coursework I'm currently working on over the weekend, and oh, hope I can, land all guys, it's it's heartbreakingly boring. Um, then there will be a random Steam game, and maybe I'll finally, finally get round to playing Life is Strange 2, like I've been threatening to for the last month or so really disappointed too because i'm desperate to play it but I'm, i want to play it with you guys anyway um thanks very much for watching guys it's been a pleasure having you as always check out the links down below for uh fm19 on the cheap if you haven't already picked it up for um for the patreon there's an amazon thing down there there's the communities on facebook and on steam down there um also uh random cheap plug if you go to the workshop i've uploaded my squad view um you can find it just by searching chasing lamely squad view um it's on there if you want to you know if you like the way I, I set my squad screen up give it a give it a give it a go um yeah otherwise thanks so much for watching guys pleasure as always see you next time have a good one.